What is going on guys? It is Randy Talks Mess in the building and this video is going to be about Jacob DeGrom and pretty much breaking news guys to be honest. Jacob DeGrom is basically done for the season and the Mets are really 99.9% .9 trying to shut him down. So um, yeah guys leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video and if you enjoy the news. And yeah guys um, this is what I'm here for. I'm here to you know keep you guys up to date on the Mets news but definitely Jacob DeGrom is 99.9 percent .9 going to get shut down by the new york mets and this is the worst possible news that the new york mets could even get this is really bad guys because jacob de Grom, he's not just the best pitcher in the mets he's the best pitcher in baseball so jacob de Grom was having a terrific season uh, he was pitching out of his mind he was going to be cy young no question to be honest and yeah, it's been, it's real rough now, but this is pretty much can be a deal breaker for the New York Mets that the season is done. Like they just can't come back from this. And I don't know if I see them coming back from this, but this is real big news, guys. Jacob DeGrom is basically done for the season. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know how, how are you affected by this news. And obviously, this is heartbreaking news for the New York Mets fans. This is really bad. Um, like I said, Jacob DeGrom was having a terrific season. His ERA was up to, his ERA was like one point something or zero point. And now the Mets look even worse, man, because they did not make really moves in the rotation wise uh, in the trade deadline. And they could have, you know, they could have got a guy like Jose Barrios or somebody like that. But yeah, uh, the Blue Jays got Barrios or and the Mets just didn't go for really much pitching rotation wise. And this really sucks for the Mets, to be honest. No Syndergaard is not even a sure thing to come back in September. So, um you know, when Jacob DeGrom got injured, we thought he was going to come back right away. Jacob DeGrom this season has had very minor setbacks. He's been shut down for like a couple of weeks. He's gone, he's gone to the DL. He, he knows his body so well. He, they did MRIs on him and all of that. And still, Jacob DeGrom was not able to come back, um, you know, healthy healthy full, fully healthy and this really sucks for the new york Mets. this is the worst news like i said that the mets can get um i really don't know where the mets go from here to be honest in the season the mets pitching rotation is just not that good um you know they were depending on uh carlos carrasco to come back and be a number two starter he's barely even a number four starter um but yeah, let's pretty much talk about how Noah Syndergaard needs to come back now more than ever and has to be their ace, to be honest. And that's a lot to put on a pitcher that has not pitched in a while. So, I mean, oh man, this rotation is going to really... It, 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 you, we just see how it is, you know. I mean, I'm not going to lie, the best shining spot for the, is uh, Tyler McGill, you know, a rookie that came out of nowhere really and you know he pitched really, he's been pitching really well and he's definitely going to be in the future plans for the rotation and he's definitely a piece for the for the future and for now to be honest but to be honest for the future because um you know Ty John Walker we have him for two years so we have him for this year and next year and Marcus Stroman is going to be a free agent Rich Hill is going to be a free agent uh Carlos Carrasco, we have him for another year as well. So the rotation is not really that great, to be honest. And I really don't know where the Mets go from here. The Mets really have to get so lucky that Noah Syndergaard comes back and becomes their ace. And I, we don't even know what he, how, you know, with this news, Noah Syndergaard, they're talking about him in the bullpen. Listen, I I think Noah Syndergaard, if he comes back, has to go to the rotation, no doubt. So the Mets are four and a half games behind from the Braves and in, 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 uh, in the in the, in the in National League East. So I just wanted to let you guys know uh, my thoughts and honestly, breaking news reaction, you know, keep you guys up to date. But this is the worst possible news, possible news that the Mets can get. And yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is really bad, guys. 
but leave a like comment subscribe to the channel um yeah let's go Mets man and let's hopefully save this season somehow